Sea urchin ornaments have become a very popular ornament over the last couple of years for wood turners to make. The combination of this nice delicate shell with the finial makes a great ornament. Now the actual shell itself, we have to prepare it a little bit because of the opening right here and here is quite irregular. And we have to build a little bit of a mandrel to do that with. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at how we get this mandrel ready to sand each one of these openings nice and true. Now every once in a while again here I need to test that and make sure that it fits on. As you'll see in this photo this is how the shell will actually fit or hang on the ornament. Now that we've finished this end here, we've ebonized it, put a little bit of finish on it, we're ready to work on the hanger where we hang it. We need to do a little bit of sanding in there. I've just rolled up a little bit of sandpaper. Kind of work it in there just a little. It doesn't take a lot. That looks pretty good. A project for today is going to be a hollow ornament. Um, I'm not the first one to make it, and I'm sure I'm not going to be the last. I think it's a very, very interesting uh, project simply because it's hollow, it's lightweight, it impresses people when they pick them up, and the human brain looks at something and sees it should weigh such and such. If it doesn't, it lends that little element of surprise, and I think that's one of the nicer things about the ornament. I'm getting into a situation where my tool is following out on the top edge and the bottom edge, which will flare this open. As I try to get into this area, I would have to start bringing that tool around, which is going to cause me a problem. The tool that I use to get around the corner is nothing more than a modified Allen wrench. I don't like to use cyanacrylate in case something happened just like that, where you got a little glue on the surface. If that happens with cyanacrylate, you're done. You have no, no means of getting it off. This way we can just wipe it off.